just got scanned for 2K24. What was that process like? Well, I'm glad to be a part of this. And uh, yeah, so th that, that was a funny, that's funny, but that's really precise. Like, it's, yeah. it's impressive. Do, do they scan every player or? Only the creme de la creme, yeah? <laughs> now, are your friends gonna be super excited that you're in the game or are they gonna clown you, like some of your moves and stuff in the game? Uh, <laughs> probably both. Uh, it all depends on the overall, honestly. Which part of your game do you want to see most portrayed in NBA 2K? <laughs> Mostly just shooting and uh, the hustle plays, you know, rebounding, you know, just cheering my teammates on in the game. Just to see me be able to dunk on the game, um, just see my vertical on the game, you see how high I can jump on it. If there's one badge that your player needs to have in the game, what is it? Catch and shoot. Yeah, at first, because uh, at the beginning, was your, when your grade is low, uh, if you're making your shots and catch and shoots, that's easy. Yeah, you can do your style. So, yeah, catch and shoots. I would say posterizer. I, I want to get those animations where I'm ducking on somebody, so I need that badge. What's the first NBA 2K cover that you remember playing? Uh, 2K11, yeah. Okay. It was for my birthday, a gift for my birthday from my mom, and I was very happy. That's the game. Everyone I play is going up. Uh, it'll definitely be special to be in there. I've probably had every 2K since 2K10. So it's crazy. Like, if Lil Me were to see me now in the game, that would be amazing. I actually pay to see that. If you hop into 2K, are you going to play with your player now that you're in the game? It's only right, I yeah, guess. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I feel like, And then yeah, you, so, gotta, you gotta select the Raptors, too. Yeah, exactly. No, for sure the Raptors, <laughs> but, you know, some people always say, like, it's weird you play with your player. I gotta see you know, how I play, <laughs> see if I can score. Definitely gotta see how my attributes are and, you know, see what I'm good at, what I'm not good at. <laughs> now I have no choice but to use myself. Yeah. So if I play against somebody and they're using KD or LeBron and I mm -hmm. use myself and I win, oh, wow, oh, yeah. Everybody's gonna hear about it? For sure. The whole city's gonna, yeah. I'm real competitive. Welcome to Ephemeral, come on in. Okay, I'm excited. What would you like to get tattooed today? I would love to get a logo from our show, 2K TV. Is that possible? Yeah, awesome. I have these here. Um, okay. Check them out. I love this one. This okay. one's perfect. That size is good? Yes. Okay. Good. Should I get it? So I'm looking at it or you're looking at it? Really, it's up to you. It's your preference. Okay. It's your body. You're going to have to live with it for the next, like, two to three years. So it's up to you, whatever you feel like. Did you say two to three years? Yeah. I don't know if you're being sarcastic or yeah. not. It's up to three years. What? <laughs> yeah. I thought they said six to eight weeks. No, no. <laughs> My mom's going to kill me. <laughs> Chris Manning would never do this for the show, by the way. Are you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Awesome, let's go. Heavy is the crown, heavy is the crown. You better work, did I come to play? Knocking off the pawns, yeah, we Oh, that is way. awesome. Yeah, what happens in Vegas, apparently, last two to three years. All of your friends, family play the game. What's it going to be like for them to see your exact representation in NBA 2K24? I already know they're going to start making fun of me or something. Really? But, you Clowning know, you? That's just how my family goes. You okay. know, they're going to try to play me with the team I'm on and then beat me with yeah. me, which is kind of funny. So just being able to just now uh, have that little connection is just amazing. Me, I usually only use one player the whole game. I try to abuse, so. I might get Damian Lillard and just try to score 60 with him. Giannis is too overpowered on 2K, by the way. It's, it's just impossible to defend against him. OK, but what if you become the Giannis next okay. year? Yeah. Well, I'm going to say it's unfair, but I'm still going to use it. OK. <laughs> I was
wasn't kidding. I really did get a tattoo that says 2K TV. No, wait, wait, this is real? This is real. That's crazy. When did you get this? At Summer League. I love it. So where are you going to get yours? Mm. We'll have to figure that out for next season. 2K TV. Yeah, right there. Maybe I'll put my win-loss percentage right there. <laughs> okay, <Okay. Well, laughs> Won't be great. a long tattoo. <laughs> All right, we're here at the 2K headquarters and the dev team is working feverishly to get 2K24 out the door for all of you. And one big step in that process is actually happening inside right now. And today to talk about that, I'm joined by gameplay director Mike Wayne. Mike, welcome back to 2K TV. Hey, nice to see you again, Chris. Good right. to be here. So I noticed we have some community members in there playing the game, giving feedback to you. What's it like for the development side to get direct feedback on the game early before launch? Yeah, this, so we've been doing this for like three years now, uh, this type of event, and it's been awesome. Like, it's probably one of the most helpful things we have because we, you know, we work all year, and we're in our little silo, we're building our game, and we think it's in a good state, but until you get these players who play all year long, and they're representing the My Team community, the My Player community, you know, Rec, the Pro Guys, like basically everyone's kind of got little, their, little, their little representative inside. And they give us a great, you know, their great two cents of like what, how the game is feeling right off the bat, what they want to see changed, uh, what could be tweaked, um, what's terrible, what's great. And for us, it's just like, you know, it helps us to take the game from where it is now to, to great, you know, the next level where it needs to be. What are some things that they give you as feedback that you take to the drawing board and kind of the team and say, okay, how can we tweak this? Or how, is there like a, is it basically based off community feedback directly from these sessions? Or are you looking at stuff and you're like, oh, this is good. They like this stuff. We got to kind of improve this stuff or tweak this stuff based on some of that feedback. Yeah, it's pretty much all over the board. Like we focus on gameplay for this event and, you know, they come in with very fresh perspectives of 23, right? So they've been on it all year long. So their brain, their brain's there. They're still using like kind of exploits or things that they really like in 23 to try to be successful. So they come in trying to do those things right away and they see that a lot of things have been fixed or changed. And so for us, um, it's helpful for them to, to know, to remember, because we've, we've been in the trenches for so long. Like some of the things that they're, they thought they'd be complaining about, like, oh yeah, we fixed that, you know, three months ago. And so it's, um, it's helpful for us to just be reassured that some of those things are gone. Um, and now they gotta look for new exploits to uh, right, exactly. beat people with. Go break the game, that's what I tell them. Go break yeah. the game and be honest with Mike. You know, don't just come in here and tell them things you like, find things you do. 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Welcome everyone to NBA Basketball here on 2K Sports. Tonight, it's Noche Enabia, a celebration of the amazing Latin culture in this league and its fans all around the globe. A great tradition we get to enjoy. With Richard Jefferson and Greg Anthony alongside, I'm Kevin Harlan at the table. And from the sidelines, it's our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. DA, it's all yours. Thank you, Kevin. Well, we all know John Morant's a high flyer. He says, my dad was pretty athletic when he played, so I can say some of it comes from him. Jumping on tires and the other drills, they just allowed my legs to get stronger. It's enabled me to get off the floor quicker, be more explosive, and it shows when I'm out there on the court. Kevin, it certainly does. He is a high flyer indeed. David, thank you. Well, Greg, we're in the final stages of the regular season. For teams that are on the outside looking in, what are these final games like? You have to continue to play hard because GMs are watching these games, seeing who packs it in and who continues to grind. So your future is at stake. And now the opening lineup for Phoenix. They've got James Wiseman. Anthony Davis is out there with Thompson. And it's green, and it's quickly in at the point guard position. And for the Lakers, Josh Giddy is out there with John Morant. Then there's Van Carroll. And then there's Antetokounmpo. And it's Jackson in at the five. Five on the clock. Here's Morant. Weissman with the rebound. And it's Davis with the ball for the Suns. Here's Thompson. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. First personal foul. First team foul. The Suns shooting their first free throws here tonight. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. Two seconds. 
First one falls for him. Mitchell Robinson's checked in for the Lakers. And so Thompson nails both of them. No surprise there. He's about as automatic as it gets from the stripe. I hope I didn't jinx him. Jackson against Davis. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. First An impressive, foul. versatile First defender for Jackson Jr. It's now about improving his shot percentages and his Jared overall Jackson offensive Jr. arsenal. The Lakers shooting their first free throws of this one. And he makes the first. And Phoenix making a change here. Okashevsky's checked in. And so he hits both. And here is quickly. Outside green. Excellent D that time from Robinson. Here are the Lakers. They put up a nice win against Utah last time out. Yeah, and, and that one, they just locked it down defensively. Challenged shots and, and really protected the rim. They were very disciplined on that end of the floor, staying attached to shooters and disrupting plays with their active hands. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Outside, green. Pass to Wiseman. Six to shoot. Here's Pokusevsky. And two free throws coming up as the whistle blows. He barely missed that one. First personal foul. That's on Jaron Jackson. Phoenix shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. Alexi Pokusevsky. Two shots. down the first one and the Lakers making a change here Robinson Earls checked in that's also good so he hits both free throws it's always nice to see a big fella be able to knock down some free throws and make teams pay from the line Right wing. Morant against quickly. Count the basket. Shows great imagination offensively. Morant so many tricks up his sleeve. And that outstanding drive and finish brought to you by Mobile One. It's all about the ability to get two feet in the paint, whether it's creating for a teammate or for yourself. Now here's Thompson. An 11-point game for him in the win again. Here's Green. It's deflected. Now, here's Van Carroll. He's covered by Thompson. And putting in work on the defensive end. Wiseman's SWAT providing a spark to his team. And finished off James by Wiseman. Wiseman. And just caught the D there by surprise. Look when Wiseman goes for the big air on the alley -oop. Morant surveying the D. Now, here's Van Carroll. Oh, he's covered closely. Out of bounds, it will go to the Suns. Those are the turnovers that have coaches pulling their hair out. Why do you think I'm bald? Getting another opportunity here to see that powerful rejection. And making a statement right away. Letting them know they won't get any easy ones when he's around. Here's quickly... He gives his team some nice contributions, averaging a bit over 10 points a game. 
Here's the pass to Thompson. And trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. Down low. Here's Ben Carroll. Good and a nice assist from Moran. Ben Carroll's got his second basket of the night. One of the most dynamic passers to enter this league in a while. Morant, this man is in full control of the offense. Here's quickly. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Kusevsky controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Oh, big time put back there. What a great motor on this guy. There is no one who goes after those rebounds harder. Passes to Ben Carroll. over Thompson that one off the back iron and out defense kind of rolled the dice there and I'm a little surprised that it ended up going their way with the miss Jeez. that one goes count it so quick on the drive when green is slicing with confidence he is hard to stop oh here's Giddy what a tremendous game he played against Utah and it's Van Carroll missing see what a rough quarter for him nothing seemingly going his way Here's Green. The teardrop falls Jay in. Green. Green's got his second bucket of the game to go. Ooh, that's just so soft. Timeout, Green timeout. just trickled that Lakers. one in. So the Lakers call timeout their first. Well, last time out, they got the win in large part because of the play of their bench. And they provided a lot of the scoring punch. And you can tell how important having depth is for them. Sometimes it's the difference between a win and a loss. Substitution here for the Lakers. Cameron Johnson's checked in for Mitchell Robinson. Miller comes in for Ben Carroll. Axie's checked in for Josh Giddy. And Markel Fultz is subbed in for Morant. Now here's Fultz. He's coming off a 10-point game against Utah. And he didn't just create offense for himself now. He did a tremendous job of setting up his teammates as well. That one a little long. Suns leading by four. Break everything they're doing is working right now. Good run they have going right now. The momentum is huge. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. This is his first trip to the line tonight. And what a season he's had at the foul line this far. 86% from the line. Shooting two. Two shots. First free throw is good. Second free throw, no good. The Suns have gone five of nine from the field here in the first. Now, here's Ivy. He's covered by Maxi. Pass to Fultz. And finished off by Fultz. Yeah, you got to be aware of that overall athleticism of Fultz. Awesome at getting inside and finishing with power. Now here's Beal. Last time out, he had 13 points. Pass to Ivy. Makes it off the glass. Sometimes the pick doesn't even have to be perfect. It can just be a pick. He just needs to create a sliver of space. And there's the pass to Robinson Earl. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. He kicks it to Miller. Well, good with the triple. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin. 
particularly here to start the game. To the middle. Here's Bates. Here's Pakusevsky. A rebound by the Lakers. And you've got to give credit to the D for never giving up on the play and doing just enough to bother him at the rim. I really like the awareness from Fultz. It has an ability to know when one of his guys is wide open. Pass to Gillespie. Miller against Beal. Pass to Ivy. Unable to get that one. So the Lakers will take it the other way. Here's Robinson Earl. He had 10 points in the win against Utah. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Second personal foul. Third team foul. This is his first free throw of the game. The Lakers, Tyrese Maxey at the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. No good on that one. Mitchell Robinson's checked in for Jeremiah Robinson Earl. And the second free throw, good. For Phoenix, they've gone 6 of 13 from the field, just under the 50% mark. Bates passes to Gillespie. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. Phoenix shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Shooting for Phoenix. Gillespie at the line for two. And the first one at the line is good. And he makes both free throws. And so it's Fultz who brings up the ball for the Lakers. Four-point game. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. First personal foul, fourth team foul. Lakers shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. And how about as a group, 80% on the season, one of their best attributes. Shooting two. That's good from Johnson. Eisman's checked in for Poe Kuszewski. And Johnson drops them both. Here's the Suns with the ball. They shot the lights out from deep. Really stretched out the defense in that one. Tough to keep the consistency from deep, but they did it last time. Just five on the clock. It's stolen by Fultz. Out of bounds, it'll go to the Suns. Twelve seconds left to play in the first. Heisman, no good. Here's Maxi, and he hits it to tie the game up. Guys, that's just really unstoppable. He poses a ton of matchup problems for whomever he's facing. All right there's the horn. It's a close game at the end of one, and the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in just a moment.
return to the second quarter and no Jay Latina specialized jerseys on display. Welcome back, everyone. And what stands out to you from the Lakers in this one? Well, they used the fast break to generate some easy buckets before the defense could get set. In this league, it is so hard scoring in the half court. So you have to run every time you get the opportunity. And home court advantage can give teams a huge lift. Greg, how different is it playing in front of the hometown fans? Uh, it's huge. I mean, they give you energy. You, you don't want to let them down. So you tend to dig a little deeper when you're playing at home. On the court for the Suns, you've got Emmanuel quickly. Thompson is out there with Anthony Davis. Then there's Wiseman. And it's Green in at the shooting guard position. They get it again. Wiseman no good. Lakers shooting 43% from the floor. Thompson against Morant. Here's Jackson. And tied against the jumper to fall. Jackson's got the opening basket here in the second quarter for the Lakers. That was the 2K drive. As that move deserved another look. And you gotta love the aggression that he had taking it to the rim there. Sets the tone in a close game like this one. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks a lot, guys. Josh Giddy has been attracting admirers, including LeBron James. The King said, he's really, really good. He has a great pace about the game. Great vision. Josh is one of those kids who can definitely see the game a lot quicker than most guys out on the floor. And he's showing it. Just been playing beautiful basketball. Kevin, that's high praise. It is both amazing passes. David, thank you. And man, does Morant put on a show. He's got such insane athleticism. And a look at the Mobile One Drive. Driving right into your living room. He's been a huge factor in this game. And drives like that show how valuable he is on the floor. Quickly with a wide open look. He nails the wide open jump shot. And the Suns lead by one. A lot of give and take between these sides early. Yeah, and both teams look like they came to play. He should have a good one. And James Wiseman picks up the foul. James Wiseman. That's his first, first foul. Personal foul. First team foul. We're now about two minutes into the second quarter. To the paint, Jackson. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. And they're beginning He's to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. On the night, he's gone two for two at the strike. Bokashevsky's checked in for Phoenix. Jaron Jackson Jr. One shot. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. For Phoenix, they've gone 2 of 5 from the field here in the second quarter, shooting 40%. Thompson outside. Suns moving the ball around. 5 to shoot. Pass to quickly. Uncovered. Here's Davis. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start, 2 for 2. It's so hard trying to keep Davis off the glass. He's just so big, so strong, and has the athleticism. And the versatility AD offers is what makes him such a valuable player. Offensively, he's a real handful given the array of moves and shots he has in his back. He's also outstanding defensively, too, able to guard multiple positions. And the Suns call their first time out of the game. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. And we see it so often. One little tweak to the game plan and everything falls into place for a team.
And for those of you just joining us in the second quarter with about three minutes gone by, 11 feet away, Hakusevsky can't hit. The Lakers have gotten four of the first five shots to fall in the second quarter. Outstanding shooting. For Phoenix, they've gone three of eight from the field since the beginning of the second quarter. Quickly Lakers with it, foul. now guarded by yes. Antetokounmpo. And the foul called on Antetokounmpo. That'll be his second foul of the game. Mitchell Robinson's checked in for the Lakers. Mitchell Robinson. Quickly finds Thompson. Outside, Davis. Just four to shoot. Phoenix needs to get off a shot. Thompson misses. Lakers shooting an outstanding 53% for the game. Morant against Quickly. And it's Morant missing. Quickly with it. The pass to Thompson. Inside. And there's Davis. That's Anthony good Davis. on the assist by Thompson. Davis has got it all tied up now for the Suns. Here's Morant. He hits it from nine. Morant's got six points in the quarter. You want to know why they're winning? It's because of his play offensively. Now, here's Quickly. A shot by Thompson, and no one's around. No luck that time in the shot that would have put them on top. Giddy with it. Picked up by Davis. And Giddy gets it to go. Giddy. Giddy's got the lead up to four now for the Lakers. They are just killing them on the interior. And Davis throws it down. Yes. And it's just so beautiful. The timing of that play is exceptional. Davis just gets there right on time and puts it in. Here's Jackson. Good and a nice assist from Morant. Jackson's got nine. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Passes it to Quickly. Now Thompson. His scoring has been there on a regular basis. He's averaging more than 14 points a game. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. And some changes here for the Lakers. Miller comes in for Van Carroll. And Maxey subbed in for Josh Giddy. Here's Maxey. 12 points his last outing. Morant outside. There's Miller with the three. Good on the triple. Miller's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Phoenix trails by seven. Phoenix calls timeout. And from college of the pros, Richard, you played for some legendary coaches. And speaking of coaching, is that something you've ever entertained doing? I never have, and I never will. Coaching, the amount of hours that you have to spend sounds exhausting. I love my job right now, and you know why I love my job? Because I get to work with you. Oh, listen, and the feeling's mutual. Rocket six. The 11-footer, Robinson with the block. And so it looks like the Suns will retain possession here. Here's 
Gillespie. Lakers leading by seven. Moran drives in. Not a piece of it. 152 left in the first half. And the Suns miss again. Credit the defensive effort there, not giving him room to operate. Poke loose, and that'll be the Lakers as it goes out of bounds. Lakers retain possession. The Lakers making a switch here. Johnson's checked in. Miller outside. Rebound by the Suns. That game will be a quick pit stop before hitting the road again. Now, here's Ivy. Not a lot of room. I think just punch the ticket on that one. That'll get the job done. Powerful two and jam. Pass to Johnson. One oh four left to play here in the half. Great tee that time from Davis. Kicks it to Beal. Fires for three. Robinson pulls it in. Robinson's got rebound number seven for him tonight. And offensively, they've gotten stuck on the perimeter, falling in love with the jump. Now, here's Maxi. His scoring has been there on a regular basis. He's averaging more than 14 Same points foul. a game. And the foul called by Anthony Davis. That'll be his second foul of the game. Oh, what a terrible foul there. The shot clock winding down, and he ends up bailing out the offense with a silly foul. And Phoenix making a change here. Freedom's checked in. 36 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Miller kicks to Johnson. Shot clock at five. Bobbed up there for Robinson. Here's Bates. And the call on the shot and sends him to the line. Second personal foul. Second team For Phoenix, they have made all of their free throws so far tonight, going six for six. First one fall. The Suns making a switch here. And so he makes both from the line. 19 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Miller outside. And there's the bucket. Stay with it on the offensive glass. Getting it done. Miller's got five. Those are some hustle points. Really bonus points when you put in a miss. That's and a close game so far through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. The Lakers lead by five. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, guys. With head coach Monty Williams. Coach, how do you get things going a little bit more offensively? Well, we've got to set screens and we've got to get stops. If we're getting stops, we can play in transition. That opens up a lot for us. Yeah, you guys are hard to beat when you're out and running. We'll see if that happens more. Thanks, Coach. Back to you. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Tremendous first half. Glad to have you back. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Taking a look at the Lakers, Kenny, what was your impression? The bench scoring has been a big key for them. They came in with energy, and they were able to give the starters a real break because of the way they performed. That's the kind of production every team hopes to have from their second unit. Shaq, let's get your insight on the visiting team. This kind of defense won't cut it. You have to get yourself in position to contest shots. This means making the right reads and putting forth the effort. They've done neither, and their opponent is taking advantage. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final. Horn. Oh, buzzer.
each bear is perfectly soft and fruity, with colors and flavors from real sources. So every bite is mouth-wateringly delicious, and an irresistible treat you can feel real good about eating. Black Forest. Real juicy, real good. Visit BlackForestUSA.com to try now. Hunger affects every community in America, from children to seniors to hardworking families. So to help those struggling with food insecurity, our Kroger associates work together to rescue nutritious food that would otherwise go to waste. They then distribute it to local food banks in an effort to donate 3 billion meals to those in need by 2025. Because at Kroger, we believe that everyone deserves access to fresh food. Join the Kroger Zero Hunger Zero Waste Foundation to help defeat hunger and eliminate food waste. Visit chcwf.org today. With U.S. Cellular, it's just $19.99 per line for one, two, or three lines. So you don't need that robot daughter you built to get a fourth line for family brand pricing. Activating defense systems. Number one, U.S. Cellular, built for us. Terms apply. Visit uscellular.com for details. Lowe's knows safety is always a priority. Right now, it's the perfect time to update the safety of your home and save. Start with the first alert smoke alarm. Was $28.98, now only $21.98. That's a savings of $7. Plus, you'll find great deals on outdoor lighting and smart home products, like a Google security camera. Think safety first. Lowe's knows home improvement. Offer valid from 10 to 1. Selection varies by location. While supplies last, U.S. only. Smoke 
so ready to pass out. Rest with money, go with the keys. Fix a ride, stop, work all day. Party till I pass out, so don't throw stones. If you're sleeping in the glass house, I'll pull up to the caddy that sits. With a city or the caddy for you niggas getting chatty with pigs. You niggas probably got on your wrist. So if you pull a crack, it'll be niggas. But you can have a chat with the city. I turn my back on the bitch. I can never turn my back on my kids and turn my back on my friends. See the back on my tennis. Crap no ways. If the ice is on the kick, cause I'm flat in the bends. He thinks that they really are gonna put his foot on the back. And the rejection by Yannis. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Adam Gumbo. Who is checking for the Lakers? Flamin' Hot University, where you'll find all your favorite Flamin' Hot snacks from Cheetos to Doritos and Bunyans to Ruffles. And learn how to unleash your Flamin' Hot. And roll in courses that teach you the art of attitude. Hire up the full flavor, extra edgy version of yourself. And represent Flamin' Hot alongside your snacks. Only at Flamin' Hot University. Tap the banner to start class today. The share it with a friend deal, even if that friend is yourself. Your McDonald's, your rules. There's a deal for every friendship at McDonald's. Right now, mix and match a crunchy and crispy, spicy and crispy, 10 piece McNuggets, or a flake melted filet of fish sandwich. Any two for just $6 at McDonald's. Price participation varies. Single item at regular price cannot be combined with any other offer or company. At Simply Safe, we've designed award-winning home security with advanced sensors, HD cameras, and now this 24/7 lifeguard protection, only from Simply Safe. Now, monitoring agents can see and speak to intruders through our new indoor camera to help stop crime in real time and for fast police response. Get 20% off any new system with Fast Protect monitoring at SimplySafe.com/Spotify. Advanced home security, 24/7 professional monitoring for less than a dollar a day. There's no safe like Simply Safe. With everything you have on your plate, earning your degree online seems impossible. But at Grand Canyon University, we specialize in helping you fit a master's degree in business into your busy day. Your graduation team, led by your own GCU counselor, provides you with the personal support you need to succeed. Achieve your goals with a plan and team behind you. Find your purpose at Grand Canyon University. Visit gcu.edu.
members of the Citizens Council. Yeah, I am a simple soldier. And as a soldier, I see things simply. I don't say all humans are evil simply because their skin is white. No! But I drink lots of the hell's and that never, never, for the human and the hates the last of us.
violent content. Parental discretion is advised.
Turn push and pop, pull in the green horn. I take shit, this is the end of it. When you got loose slips, I'm putting the beam on you. Like a full post home, I'm putting the knee on you. I write a rhyme, nothing your mouth breaks in the middle. Since she sleeps, it's out. Got me ten and men's name, those girls and more bricks to fill it. Sick punchlines, with metaphors and synonyms. All about the brain, the cats, the visions. No rhyme, no shine, so I get it in. I'm the best. I can't even tired of you rap shit. I got the energy. Niggas hate me. You think I got the energy? Most of these bitches look like hammers. It's the home of the Jets Cafe, but the raw ass ghosts on the strip are high on them. Who want it? Who did it? Who want 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 it? I'm 
some shit, I'm about to rap about biscuits. I keep biscuits in bags, I get about biscuits. I smoke beef like biscuits. I've been all about business. I'm a new game bed witness. I am a new game kingpin. I'm born with too much interest. Two of moms, I get rich. I'm a big game in club, it's in fact no fitness. I am B, yeah, I'm on the big shit. I was flip like gymnasts. Don't need to take out trends. Come to the kick, I've been set. Still in the crib. Just like Christmas, I'm on the children's wish list. The DNA part of the youth, cause you seem like a true twist. I'm taxing niggas, plus my trust. We undefeated, y'all win this. The boom starts seeping this. Get played, start to see inches. Your flames start to extinguish. My children are distinguished. My marks don't speak English. So when they say, they're out there, they're in there, they're gonna fuck. All the fuck is inches. I take the blame, the blame. I want the fortune, the fame. I know they're gonna go bang. I do it up for the game. I take the blunt to the brain. I ain't the one to complain. I know they're gonna go bang. I do it up for the game. I take the blunt to the brain. I want the fortune to fame. I know they're gonna go bang. I do it up for the game. I take the blunt to the brain. I ain't the one to complain. I know they're gonna go bang. I do it up for the game. Game, game, game. Like my father, I'm just like my father. 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 I'm just like my father
of your child takes is fuel to spark their imagination, taking them from a wild new water space mission to a deep sea dive into a rainbow river. Funnables are made with 7.1% real fruit puree and are an excellent source of vitamins A, C, and E. So anytime, any place, make snack time playtime with Funnables fruit snacks. Have fun, eat it too. Visit FunnablesSnacks.com to shop now. With U.S. Cellular, you don't need a family plan to get the best rate. It's just $19.99 per line, with the flexibility to get one, two, or three lines. So now that you have U.S. Cellular, I guess you don't need that robot daughter you built to get a fourth line. Oh, well, Elizabeth? Yeah, she might be kind of tough to get rid of. Activating cell defense systems. I knew the lasers were a bad idea. Just $19.99 per line. U.S. Cellular. Built for us. Terms apply. Visit uscellular.com for details. With Oscar Mayer bacon, your morning is a whole lot better. Sure, there's still the kids running around, and there's never enough time to get them and you ready. And where did that thing come from? Whatever, there's bacon. Smoke for 12 hours with real wood chips and hand chip from the finest cups. So you know it tastes great. The whole family will love it. Keep it Oscar. Buy Oscar Mayer bacon today, wherever it's sold. Hey y'all, this is Anthony, and a little thing I love about the Chick-fil-A honey pepper pimento chicken sandwich is the pimento cheese. I was like, go cheese, go pimento, go honey, go ghee. Hi, this is She Truth, and a little thing I love about the Chick-fil-A honey pepper pimento chicken sandwich is the mild spiciness of the pickled jalapenos. No, it's the crispy chicken. Actually, I can't decide. It's the entire sandwich. Order the honey pepper pimento chicken sandwich on the Chick-fil-A app today. Available for a limited time. Real Chick-fil-A guests pay for their testimonials. So 